Welcome to the T4 Show. My name is Michael Manny, and today we are going to do another review on a backpack. This time it's going to be on the Low Pro Fastpack 250. Uh, I'd like to thank Vanessa from Low Pro for sending this to me, and I apologize again for not getting to it sooner. Uh, but the Low Pro Fastpack 250 will be my backpack for this week that I'll test out. And uh, there's two different, two different. Uh, uh, levels of model for this. The Fastpack 250 fits a laptop and a bunch of camera equipment and stuff like that. It's uniquely suited for stuff like that. But this fits a 15.4 inch laptop like my MacBook Pro and this retails for $119.99. The Fastpack 350, which is one level up, fits 17 inch laptops and as you can see here, this is where it goes back here. It's kind of unique that it doesn't zip up here. It goes through the side. Um, and also what you have here real quick is compartments. I'm gonna try to get this open. Compartments for your digital SLR and all your lenses. Now, this is far beyond uh, what I need. I just have a uh, point and shoot camera, my Canon SD750 that I showed the task of 30 on. But um, this could actually fit quite a few things as far as protein powder, travel stuff, and everything like that. And there's also pockets up here and uh, places you can put things. So it's pretty uniquely uh, featured. But if you're somebody that does a lot of digital video, if you're somebody that does a lot of photography, carries around a lot of equipment for lenses, then this is definitely a backpack uh, that would suit you and it's it's really padded and it would protect your expensive photography or videography investment very well. And what we're going to do here is the same exact thing that we did before with the Targus Messenger that I had before. We're going to actually put stuff down on the table and show what I can fit. Obviously one thing or two things that I won't have on there will be my camera and my tripod and actually three things the lapel mic that I have attached to me and also this is the um, just real quick this is the uh, the slingshot 200AW David Sacconi from Ability Today is going to get this uh, eventually I, I'm sorry I didn't get it to him sooner I'm going to send this out to him today and he's going to do a review on it and then what we're going to do is have an all photography podcast on the T4 Show podcast featuring David and myself. And more than anything, it's gonna be a very valuable educational experience for me because I'm really a novice when it comes to digital photography. That's why I pick a point and shoot camera. Oh, and one more thing too. When you do get the low probe uh, fast pack, uh, 250 or 350, there's a hidden use with the packaging. It makes a hell of a trash bag. So, pretty cool. More than one use for the uh, low pro stuff, so. The environment recycle use low pro uh, packaging as trash bags okay so let's put stuff down on the on the uh, table here start clearing stuff off and this was a gift the candle I bought this was a gift so I'm gonna put this down and we're gonna clear everything out and I'm gonna show everybody what you can fit on the fast pack 250 Okay, so here we are. We have the table uh, laid out with all the stuff that I fit in the Fastpack 250. Now, I'm going to repeat this again. This is not a representation of what you should fit in this bag because it's basically for photography and video equipment, uh, more so for photography, a lot of lenses and stuff like that. So I tried to fit whatever I could in there uh, to represent the size of that and also if it looks less, it's because, like I said before, the camcorder I have here, the tripod, and also the lapel mic are not counted. Obviously, how can I record if <laughs> I don't have the camera? So there we go. Let's go right to left. Soy nuts. Have my swim cap. Have my goggles. Uh, green tea. Protein powder, the kind the TSA really likes. Water bottle. Tanning lotion. Still looking pale on the webcam, though. Up top, perfect push-up. Uh, you know, actually that did not fit. So let me take that out. Arr, sorry, that did not fit. Just for the dimensions of it. But like I said, it's not for the perfect push-up, it's for uh, <laughs> photo equipment. MacBook Pro fits there and perfect. Jelly beans fit in there perfect. They fit in every backpack, don't worry about that. Wallet, uh, MacBook Pro adapter. I, I can never remember the name of the adapters. It's weird. Flip video camera. Uh, Canon SD750 with Tasca 30 case, Amazon Kindle, tape for the uh, lapel mic since I lost a clip, and also the charger 
for my Panasonic HDC SD1. Now, like I said, this is not a representation completely of what you fit in there because of the lenses, the digital SLR. If you're going to shoot pictures or if you're going to do videography uh, with a camera like the SD1 where it's very compact, this is definitely the uh, uh, great solution for you to do that. And the tripod I have is actually a uh, Sunpack Travel Light, which uh, is really small when you uh, telescope it in and everything. So fits perfect in the backpack and that's awesome. So uh, Fastpack 250 from Low Pro, $119.99, available at lowpro.com. This is Michael Manna for the T4 Show. Thank you and best of luck in all your backpacking endeavors. <laughs>